Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody? This is your buddy Ed Wired with an afternoon stream because uh, my time schedule got slipped, slipped, shifted back a little bit. You may notice it does not say Xeno Threat Phase 3. But I did see it looks like that's uh, that's active now. Instead, my stream says Red Festival 2951. You're like, wait a minute, what is the Red Festival? And the answer to that would be... CDF needs combat pilots for immediate deployment against Xeno Threat. We're backing up the Navy here, so reach out as soon as you can. <coughs> the answer to that would be <coughs> there's our dude right there let's put on some red stuff to match our theme It's uh, sort of like at Christmas time when we ran around and collected the uh, collected the packages for you know gifts and stuff to make money. Well, the The Red Festival is envelopes that uh, have to do with, I guess, Chinese New Year and okay. So there's our red, and you can cash them in for money. So it's a money type of thing too. Okay, so technology, Moby Glass, we got that on. Let's get our mid pins. Put our two med pins in, that's great. Weapons. Let's at least have our side arc light. Arc light. Arc light. Arc light. Arc light. Pretty good. So we're gonna we're gonna run around um, Microtech, and we're gonna collect those red envelopes and see if we can make some money doing that. Now I also want to try to scam the uh, the mission here, that dually in the CDF. If we could fool her. Send you the details. Grab your ship and get ready for a fight. Yeah, if we could fool her and get paid, we'll take their money, even though um, I'm going to actually do. something else, right? Scam citizen. Because <clears throat> what, what it looked like in phase two was is that once you accepted the the mission and maybe you went to the first thing and checked in at that point you would continue to get paid even if you weren't there actively uh, moving packages or or shooting down fighters in fact one time I I went back to the space station and I hung out uh, on the space station and kept getting paid until they finished the mission so we're gonna try that scam because, uh, you know, really, I wasn't given a chance to fight on the side of the Xeno threat, the way they programmed this mission. 
But what if I can get the CDF to pay me without me lifting a finger to help them? That's like, you know, that's like helping Xenos, right? So uh, we'll do that. Let's do that. What chip do I want to take out? We'll take our arrow out. I've been flying the arrow here recently. I kind of like it. Pad one. So. We'll be scam citizen. Red festival observing. Credit greedy playing today. Have you no shame? No, I do not have any shame. No shame whatsoever. There was, uh, yeah, I have about as much shame as uh, uh, Robert Space Industries has for selling, uh, having a sale for red colored chips with six months insurance. Yeah, e equally shamed. So there's my arrow. Let's enter the pilot seat. Joysticks up here on my table. Okay. Where do we have to report? Got that set, and we'll tell the space station goodbye, goodbye. You are clear to launch. Take off, complete. Time to dish out some punishments. You're on site and weapons free. Check your fire and give them hell. Who are those Xenos? So my objective complete. Report for battle, right? New objective. Showdown with the Xeno Force. Xeno threat. Let's look at this in our mission. Repel Xeno threat by destroying their capital ship and fighters. So at this point, I don't think I don't think I have to stay here. I think I can go to Microtech now. See if I keep getting paid, even though I've gone to Microtech. Fight ain't done. Where the hell are you going?
get our credits. We're at uh, 152273. My name is Ed Wire. This is my channel on Twitch. These do end up eventually on YouTube about 24 hours later. Uh, we're playing a game called Star Citizen. Star Citizen is in early alpha. It's a playable alpha. The game's not released. Uh, you can get a game package for as little as $40 US. If you use my referral code when you uh, create your account at Robert Space Industries to purchase the game, you will get an additional 5,000 in-game credits. Um, and if you already have the game or if you get the game and you like playing it and you want to maybe play along with me uh, and other players in my organization, uh, I do have an organization called the Pareto Partnership. Um, there's a link there as well that I just put in the chat and will also be in the description for this VOD or this video. Uh, that has the link to my organization if you want to put in an application. The organization is about casual role play, multiplayers helping each other out. The requirements are you're at least 18, you have a mic and you're going to use it, and you speak English. And that's pretty much all it takes. Okay, so here we are at Microtech. Let's find the landing uh, spot. New Babbage, here we go. It's our route. Route is set. There it is, there at the home plate. Okay, so it says out of range. What we need to do. got plenty of quantum fuel we need to go back into here we need to clear the route and go to a OM So up there in the server chat, you can say, uh, well, I guess this one is bugged. It was fun, folks. Server hot time. zone is going to be across one of these bridges as well. fly over there, we'll land, we'll take the train, we'll start looking for the red envelopes. Just like that.
So the mission died. That could be because the server is buggy, or it could be because it was a mess. Something was wrong with the way that they've implemented it. Don't know. Don't really care. We'll catch up with that later after people have been playing it for a couple hours. I'll go on to the YouTubes and the and the uh, Twitches, and we'll see. see what people say. We should get a contact ATC any minute now. That's probably not. That's probably not the landing zone. Because Okay, we're saying in the spaceport. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Oh, that is. We were right. I was wrong. It is. gave me a nice big hanger and it was one up on the top too it wasn't a small hanger So that's like the new Babbage security force. See, I could have got a big old ship in here. It's a 
be on the lookout for red envelopes in loading and landing zones. The red envelopes. And there we go. There they are. Looks like it may be using the same the same logic as they did for the Luminelia gifts. Those little green packages. In terms of where it places them. That's what it looks like to me. I'm seeing them in the same same spots. So we're 78% full of chest storage. Let's take the train into the city. From all of us at
control loop. We got nine in our chest and three in our legs. See, I hate when this happens. If fucking doors don't always open. Which there is a solution for this. And that is to fast travel out of the train into the apartment building. Because the train was going to take me right back to the spaceport. And I was just at the spaceport. So instead, <coughs> so the ones that were in my legs fell out. See, I've got nine in my chest. leg storage fell out which sucks but hey this is an alpha game before you pay your money you need to know this game doesn't work right it's got bugs sometimes the servers crash sometimes the missions don't complete right if you can't put up with that don't spend any money on this game now there is a free fly event coming up. I want to say it's uh, this coming week. Maybe it starts the 14th. I'm not sure exactly when it starts. It starts soon. Go to the Robert Space Industries page. It'll tell you when the free flight is. Use my referral code to create your account and play the game for free. You don't have to use my referral code, but by by using my code. If you do buy a package after playing for free, then you'll get those 5,000 free credits. But unfortunately, you cannot you can't create an account, play for free, and then change your mind and say, "Oh, okay, I want to use your code." It's got to be when you first create your account. So and if enough people do that, I'll get something nice too. 
But again, I'm get I'm telling everybody, hey, don't uh, you know, don't be spending your hard-earned money without playing the game and understanding that this game isn't isn't like a released you know a released game. Uh, this game, you know, this game still got issues. I like it though. I get aggravated, but I spend more time liking than being aggravated. And I decided to spend money to help make sure that this game would come out. So if we look, I, it won't let me grab that one. Leg storage 100% full, chest storage 100% full. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the 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 Mac Flex backpack the rucksack core I'm looking at the storage capacities and I'm seeing which legs. Some of these legs will hold 10. They'll hold 10K. So now look, it says I got nothing in the backpack, nothing in the leg storage. Now I don't know whether those, those envelopes stayed in the, stayed in those items that we took off or what, I don't know. I don't know if we lost them for good or what. So this is like science. Remind me when it's time to cash in our stuff. Oh, good lord, there was jerks going on there. Remind me when it's time to cash in our stuff to see. If, uh, to change my, uh, to change my stuff and to see whether there's envelopes still in the, uh, that red gear I was wearing. See, I thought I was going to double dip. I thought I would be double dipping and getting the Xeno threat credits while I was doing this, but it looks like on this server at least that mission uh, that mission crapped out.
Okay, it's it. Storing's not available. But I got room. Maybe I just was doing it too quick. trains. Doors will work like you're supposed to. So my theory is phase three Xenothreat was going to come out and everybody was going to be distracted by it. Oh, got to do it, got to do it. And this would be available for an opportunist like myself. During the Luminalia thing, there wasn't, it, there wasn't a player event going on. to distract people. And so it was very common to see other people running around collecting the presents. Presents also were, I think, a little bit more eye-catching than these red envelopes, unless you're maybe an Asian. Culturally, these may stand out more to people, but for in Western culture, the, the wrapped and ribboned packages, I think, you know, visually 
Say on. Please. I didn't want him to see me jump behind the counter here. Because it's not intuitive that there's also goodies back here. Someone that didn't know to look back here might not think of it without seeing somebody. So that's one of my secrets of the loot goblin. Also, sometimes there's an envelope, but I don't see one there. Let's go cash these in. Let's see how much our work is on this. Now before, when the presents were popping up, there wasn't a whole lot of them. There were some, but not a whole lot in the other end and in the other part. So. One, five, one, two, two, seven, three. got 33 for a thousand so that would be 33,000 okay got it and now let me change back to my other clothes just put on that uh, rucksack No, it was the the Venture Voyager stuff. That's what I originally had on. Let's see if it remembered those gifts when I stored them. Yes, it did. So you remembered I had 15. So we had 33 plus 15 would be 45. That's 48. So it looks like we've made 48,000. I've been streaming for 45 minutes so that's like a thousand a minute and I granted we took the extra time we took the extra time to come from Mick one to yeah what's Majabi uh, over there by Jericho to activate the Xenothreat thing and then we went and then we had to land at New Babbage so 
some of our time was spent travel time we could have made more and we lost time to the doors in the uh in the train bugging out well not really though because we went directly to the hotel pretty quick so uh, i was going to come here and sell first but so i mean that's pretty good it's not it's probably not as much money as the Xeno Threat mission gives. That's a bunch of money. But still, just a thousand dollars a pop at picking up these things. You shouldn't uh, shouldn't turn your nose up at it. The placement of them seems to be pretty close pretty close to what we were seeing for the uh, the packages I'm looking the same places and seeing them maybe not as much behind the counters but out in the common areas certainly uh, still very common to find them like here Maybe as easy to see as the, the green boxes. The green boxes had a, a contrasting color and they had a, like a shape where the red is a little bit darker and it's, uh, it's like low def. So the other landing points would be uh, Lorville and Area 18. So you, if you get a chance, if you're closer to one of those, maybe you should, uh, should fly through those. And uh, check them out.
No. No. Hey, hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Out. No. Hey, Bart. That's it. You're done. Their bark is terrible. You never bring me a drink anyway. This area is a no go zone. Get me? Hey, 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 what the hell do you think you're doing? Hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? Hey, hey. You lost, buddy? Why you talk so hey, funny? Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Hey, hey. Why you Get talk so funny? Hey, hey. Yes, Wally's bar. Hey, hey. Tom, I need that money. Seven. Another seven. So there you go. There's like a speed run of uh, the Red Festival 2951. Go around, and collect those little red envelopes, and uh, get your thousand credits per. I do want to run another test. again uh, to see whether I can double dip so what I'm gonna do is let's go back up let's go back up to Mick L1 and that's where I'll uh, end this play session and then when I get back online again next time, I'll try to do it again. And hopefully I can test my double dip theory. Uh, and I might do that later on tonight off stream. But I do like to play for at least an hour a day. And I do like to... Oh, just made it. I do like to, to play for an hour a day. And I do like to get that captured and uploaded to Twitch. And then a day later sent over to YouTube. So I can stay at about 30 hours streamed a month, which is where I want to stay. So, but I can't. Uh, my my lifestyle is not too conducive to sitting down for three or four hours at a stretch, streaming the whole time. It's a real bummer about Xeno Threat Mission bombing out. Um, and so it'll take, this is the first day that Phase 3 has gone live. So I'll wait until that seems to work consistently. And then I'll do a Phase 3 stream where we set out and we, uh, and, and we dedicate ourselves to that. So don't feel like you missed out on it. Um, I'll do one of those for sure as well. But I wanted to jump on this Red Envelopes thing. To, uh, to make some credits, hopefully while people were doing other stuff, um, and also have a demonstration of it as well. So there you go. That's easy money, even for a beginning player. 
you just go to Laurel Area 18 or New Babbage in the landing zone, run around, look for those red envelopes, pick them up. You can double tap F to auto store them, or you can hit hold F and pick off the menu. If you have armor that has more storage in the legs and the torso, put that on and you can pick up more of them before you have to go to a terminal to sell. So those are my, uh, those are my tips. Those are my tips for this. Or 16. 16, I think, is the one we came in on. Hangar 3 is going to be a little small one, I think, that goes out uh, horizontally, goes out over the side towards back towards the lake in the city. Yeah, see, this one's not a top opener, this one's a side opener, and it's a smaller one.
For some reason, I got one point marked in 12k away. There's the actual station. We'll see if we can't get uh, refueled and repaired right as we land. Made some money picking up those red envelopes. Got that done. I wanted to make sure we got at least one stream. Showing that. Looks like there was this one big spike, one hit on the internet during this stream. But we didn't we didn't drop from the server and we didn't drop from Twitch. That's good. I got cruise control on, but remember when I call ATC, I then take off cruise control and take off and lower the gear. That's my that's my way of not forgetting. Please proceed to sign landing bay. shooting at somebody. There's our little little arrow. It's a decent fighter. Little light fighter. I don't think I bought that. I think I got that as a loner for something. Um, better than the Auroras for sure. Um, as a fighter, but I don't know what my favorite fighter is. I like the three. Three twenty-five looks nice, but I don't think it's. Uh, I don't know that it's as agile. Is that I'm not really sure. I just kind of I PVP in various different things. So it's 
go ahead and you don't have to do this, but let's go ahead and store the arrow. No, I didn't want to retrieve it. I wanted to store it. Alright folks, well that's going to do it. We've been streaming for an hour and ten minutes, which is sort of my happy space between an hour, hour and a half is what I like. A little bit later in the day. Um, maybe we'll be back on schedule again tomorrow. Until then, my name is Ed Wired. The space station is shooting at somebody. That's what happens if you have a crime stat. The space station will shoot at you. So anyway, uh, we'll give Xeno Threat Phase 3 a try next time. We'll also try the double dip and see if that's going to work. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, uh, feel free to like, follow, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, see you next time.